even fit. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is, uh, as Tom very graciously just sang, uh, Derek Stephen Prince, you're watching Behind the Voices. Uh, tonight, we have two very, not one, but two very special people. Let's hear it. Tom and Dorothy Vaughn. Oh, oh, looks like we made it. <laughs> you know, uh, I wanted to say uh, I know you as Steve or Stephen Prince. Yes. We haven't yes. talked in a while, and you yes. added the Derek yeah. to Derek Stephen Prince, and we have a song for you. Derek Stephen Prince, la 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 la. Oh, Derek Stephen, Derek Stephen, Derek Stephen Prince. Uh, but also, we want to make an announcement to you and all the fans yeah. listening. That we have also changed our names to Derek Dorothy Fawn and Derek Tom Fawn. Just Thank want you. you to just want you to know. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Nice to see you. <laughs> and nice to see you guys as well. Ah, man. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for joining us this evening when you could be doing practically anything on a Wednesday night, but yet. You're hanging out with us, so we nice. definitely very nice of you. Um, for those of you who, I mean, I'm sure all of you that are on here probably know at least one thing that these people have done, but in hey. case you don't, I'm going to go down a list really quick here, no. and I'm going to ask this, these guys this is very exciting, you know. initially yeah. uh, before you guys chime in with your questions. Um, uh, da, da, da. Oh well, there, there, well here's it. Here's a cup. Here's a a nice little uh, thing for you. D twenty from D twenty three mon. Uh, oh, your brother's on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a nice boy. Very nice. Nice. <laughs> you got you got to have him on yet. There's a whole list of fonts waiting to come on. Right. Yeah. Exactly. They all want to come on. Yes. They all want to come on the Derek, 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 Stephen, Prince. <laughs> So, uh, one nice comment you guys just got from D23 Mon. Just like Mickey and Minnie Mouse, these legends voiced real life character couple in Digimon. Digimon and Babamon. Okay. Yeah, that's right. How did they go. know that? That, that yeah. was a very. Uh, now, I know you were on Digimon as well, as we all are. We possibly all were. still are. Yes. Um, but I will say this. What were the characters again? Uh, Babamon and Gigimon. Babamon and Gigimon. Yeah. And we have to give a shout out to the wonderful actress, director, Mary, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. Because she cast us in that. Yeah. And she said, I thought of you two. This, these are very old. This is an old couple. They're fighting. <laughs> yeah. And it should be like Billy Crystal and Carol <laughs> Kane in Princess Bride. Oh, my God. So if you see what the episode. What was that it, in? It, it's in, it's in Tamers. Oh, right. Did, did you mind? Okay. Like so next season, season three. Right. Okay. You would know better. That's why you're Derek Stephen. <laughs> but uh, the uh, the voices sounded something like this. Oh boy, I I'm so mad at you. Oh, and, and you. Oh, I love you yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah. It's it's actually <laughs> very funny. I actually like I like, that. I like watching it. <laughs> So thank you to that person who remembered that. That was the only right time on. uh, we did exactly. that one. Let's all drink. Tell them. Let's drink. All right. Yeah. So um, I got a, I got some questions. <laughs> okay. And we have answers. want to know. If, if we yeah. don't have the answers, we'll make them up. We'll make go ahead. Well. Okay. So I, I've got to ask because yeah. I, 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 I know you necessarily didn't want me to say anything, Doris. Oh, come on. Let's oh, hear it. Man. What do you got? Well, <laughs> Go ahead. We are focusing on uh, power couples this entire month, right? Okay. We've got yeah. you this week. We've got another one and another one. and another. Basically, this whole month, we've got awesome. people nice. that are both in voiceovers, <laughs> that are together in, in whatever way, shape, or form, whether it be boyfriend or girlfriend or married or whatever. You guys, I got to say <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know if, if you if you beat out, you know, some other people that I know who've been married a very long time, but we're going, like, as of November, yeah. right? You guys are going to be yeah. together for, like, 35 years? Yeah. I'm it's not, unbelievable. We've had yeah. no problems along the way at all. 
<laughs> Which is crazy considering um, you guys are only 40. Exactly. It looks like we made it. <laughs> I think actually, and I, I don't want to impose on your episodes coming up, but I think Richard and Ellen uh, Epcar, listen, buddy, I think they may have gotten married a couple, of, maybe a year or two before us. Okay. Maybe a year or two, and, and uh, maybe Steve and Melora Kramer, maybe a year or two. Yeah. But we're right up there with those legends. We're right up there. With them. But okay, so here's the question, right? And and I know you, for people who don't necessarily know and can't connect the dots, Tom. You've got Jonathan and you've got Melissa that are both your brother and sister. Who's the oldest? Yes. Uh, our older brother, Michael, who's a phenomenal jazz trombone player in the New York area. Who okay. also wants to get into voiceovers. He's the oldest. He's got me by a year and a half. Then there's me, then Jonathan, then Melissa. Okay, so four of you all together. Yes, all four. Everyone in the entertainment industry, including our spouses, yeah. all in the entertainment I'm industry. married into this thing. Were your, were your mom and dad also in the entertainment industry? My mother is the perennial stage manager. Okay. Uh, no, no, the stage mother. Uh, yes. Off, off. But yeah. my, my mother and father brought us to the theater when we were kids, brought us to the movies, and our dad was a drummer. He passed oh, away wow. a couple of years ago. He was a big jazz fan. <laughs> he gave us the gift of music. And uh, right. so they took us to the arts right from the beginning. So uh, that's that's where it started for me. And I think she had some of the same type of upbringing. And in Queens, no less. <laughs> Born in Queens and grew up on Long Island in the okay. suburbs. Huntington, Long Island, New York, beautiful suburbs about 45 miles east of uh, the city. And when, when did you come out to California? Moved to California in the summer of 77 from basically Huntington, Long Island to Huntington Beach, California. They like the Huntington. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. That was when. Uh, seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. Yeah, you weren't even born then. But anyway. So you were like, I don't know. Uh, I was. I was fifteen. I have no shame. Fifteen. I was okay. fifteen in nineteen seventy-seven. What? Though what? My, what made your parents though move my out beard, here? Looks, my beard looks like I'm ninety-five. Side note. But go ahead. <laughs> what made your parents move out here, though? I believe uh, my dad had come out here on a business trip, and then the year before, he took the whole family out. Yeah. And we did from San Francisco to L.A., which a lot of people do. And right. we saw Disneyland, and we saw the beach, and we had such a great time. We got back to New York in 76, and my dad said, did everyone like it? Yeah, great. We're moving there in one year. Oh, because, wow. Because, you know, uh, yeah. growing up back east, Florida is the dream, but California is the real it's almost it's like the promised land. California has a drier heat. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, everybody goes to Florida, but my parents were never gonna do that. My parents aren't like anyone else. Once they okay. saw California, that that was it. So uh California's the promised land. It was and it still is, I believe. So. Yeah. So fifteen, you come out here, seventy seven. Yes, yes, when sir. do you meet this beautiful woman? Uh not only yeah. three only three years later. We three uh years later. We we started uh, college okay. when we were 18, which is kind of funny because now our daughter's looking at college, and I know you have kids. Oh, my God. It's yeah. crazy. Life goes by. So life goes by as fast as my beard grows. But anyway, <laughs> second beard reference. Um, he shaved this morning. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, we met um, when we were 18. We were theater arts majors okay. at Cal State Long Beach. Oh, nice. And, and we were cast in a scene together. And Dorothy, you, you take over. There's too much of me right now. You, you oh, no, no, tell no. Him, we, tell him. We, we had a stage kiss in the scene. Yeah, Aww. like this. <laughs> oh, that was not bad, in my opinion. <laughs> it's like nothing. I'm a, char I'm a character actor, so I'm never going to get cast kissing a girl in a scene. So after I, uh, after I kissed her in the scene from Six Rooms Riv View. Very funny play. That was the play. Okay. Um, then I figured I'd ask her out. I think it took me a couple months to get up the guts. You didn't, you know, you yeah. didn't do it. Here I comes. asked you out. Yeah, that's about right. He, he that's would right. like come up and say, hey, yeah, how you doing? We should go do something sometime. Yeah. We should do this, yeah. do that. Yeah. One day I was like, fed up. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that sounds great. When? When, yeah, she cornered me. <laughs> and I went, and I went, yipe, 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 yipe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we went out, and uh, yeah, that, that was we went, our first date was 1981. Wow, uh, April, April 17th, 1981. <laughs> Write that down, people. There'll be a quiz. <laughs> so, um, 
from there, he can't even talk. You guys both yeah. obviously were were interested in being actors, right? Tom, I, know I always that. wanted to be an actor. Tell them where tell them where, where you grow up and, and and a little of you wanting to be an actor. Tell, tell, well, tell I, the people. Okay. Tell the people. Well, yeah. Well, you know, you wanted to be an actor from the time you were a kid. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did not. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an artist. I drew everything all the time. I, okay. I before we got to college, I was like thinking of being an art major, but. But when I was in elementary school, they cast me as the lead in all the plays because I could remember the lines. Okay. I had no aspirations to being an actor until I got to high school. Right. Then it's like, oh, you know what? I kind of like this singing and dancing and people clapping thing. It was fun. She's also <laughs> being very modest. She has a beautiful singing voice. Just beautiful. Oh, wow. man. Thank you, dear. You're welcome, honey. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and and so I know that you started off. Uh, did you start off as an on camera, Tom? Uh, you know, uh, you 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 start off doing everything you can. You come well, yeah. to the theater. And I got an improv group, and I was auditioning for commercials. But then I I worked with a wonderful guy named Victor Garcia, and he's always mentioned because he's the key to the to the fawn all the fawn voiceover actors. Victor Garcia is a wonderful actor, and he was cast in that movie uh, Stand and Deliver, playing uh, Edward James Olmos' Edward James Olmos son. son. Okay. And uh, from there, he was always producing and doing things. And he said to me one day, look, I'm going to be working. This is the early 90s. He goes, I'm going to be working for some Japanese producers, and we basically need actors to dub this like Japanese animation. Cartoon, because, he because called them cartoons. Uh, into English. Would you be interested in that? I'm going to need you, your wife, no your brother, your sister. So this was the beginning of anime in the early 90s. So wow. all of us fawn yeah. all got in on MacGyver and Macros Orgas. and Orgus and Trigun. Those are like kind of the beginning. Well, that was a little bit later. Yeah, Trigun speaking was later. Of Trigun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and speaking of Agumon and Digimon. Right? <laughs> exactly. And speaking of my... Hey. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, so in the early 90s, thanks to Victor Garcia, me and Dorothy and Melissa and Jonathan and so many, and this wonderful actor who I used to work with who never did voiceovers before. He wanted to be a musician. His name was Steve. He started doing voiceovers, and his name is and was Steve Bloom, the nicest guy you'd ever want to meet. We did our first voiceovers together, um, and this was the early 90s. Guy Burr, Orgus, I don't know if any of your people now, out there. Now he's like, Psh. He's a superstar. <laughs> superstar. Right. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, that was the beginning for us in the early 90s. Wow. So you got, anime. you got introduced to anime right away. Before yeah. anyone knew what anime was. We used to we go to this uh, wonderful, crazy place called the Magnitude 8. Did you yes. ever work there, Steve? Okay. Yeah. We were there like when we knew everyone there. And then we yeah. started to see more and more actors. And the talent pool got, of course, bigger yeah. and bigger because they need – they can't just have a fawn on everything. Or, right. or wait a minute, wait a minute, they maybe would. they can. And uh, one actor we saw that was Brian Cranston. And uh, yeah. you know, he was just starting out doing VR. Right. And, and anyway, it was that's where we met Fcar, Sorge, Nimoy, Everybody. all the legends. Oh, yeah. Wow. And that's a guy cool. named uh, Derek, and a guy named Derek Steve Prince, Derek Steve Prince, Steve Prince, no, Derek. No, no. <laughs> no, he was Steve Prince though. When we met him, he was Steve Prince. Yeah. Now we're all Derek, Derek Dorothy Fawn, Derek, Derek Tom Fawn. <laughs> so <laughs> one of the questions that came in, and, and this is going to kind of dovetail into where I was going to start to go. Um, uh, Brad, the anime panda, panda man. Um, Brad uh, is familiar with Dorothy's work, not necessarily with Tom. So here we go, folks. Drum roll. Going down the list. Here yeah. it comes. Yeah. Uh, starting off with some of Tom's stuff, um, uh, most notable, I, I should say, because you were in it from the very beginning, yes. all the Digimon stuff as Agumon, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, from, yeah, yeah, yeah. from day one, um, <laughs> I, I am, you know, uh, going to go into some, some not as well-known stuff, but stuff that I am myself too. a fan of. You can just mention it all, Steve. It's all good, buddy. Yeah, uh, Dorothy's so, worked more than Dorothy's yeah. worked than I'll ever more than I'll ever work, buddy. 
she's a maniac. They worship her. <laughs> At the conventions, they line up and worship her. You were, anyone. you were, uh, Piet, I, I don't know if I'm going to say this correctly, but Peter, Piet, Piet, maybe it's Peter. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds and, good. Keep going. What was the show? Forest of Piano. Oh yeah. That, yeah. That's running right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that's a funny show, but that's a funny show because it's about a, 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 a piano competition and, and, and you'll, you'll appreciate this as a fellow voiceover actor. I do the voice of one of the judges. So you only hear his uh, his thoughts, like yeah. his he's going, wow, look at this guy, he's an yeah. amazing piano. But you're just you're just hearing, so there's nothing to sync as an actor, you know. I'm just you know, so. but yeah, that's fun. That's, that's a fun, fun show. Yep. And um, uh, for the Bleach fans that are out there, uh, he played uh, Mizuhiro Kojima. Yeah, that was. Oh a, yeah. Uh, and God bless you and Kazuki. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, it was a long time ago, the Bleach days. And Dorothy, uh, not necessarily in the same episodes, but played uh, Yoshino Soma. So there you go. Here's, uh, the, here's the difference between Dorothy and I, if I can interrupt you for the 10th time, Stephen Prince, yeah. you wonderful boy. Uh, Dorothy remembers every gig she's ever done oh. and every character. Nice. I can't remember last week. Obviously, I've lost my razor. I mean, there's a lot going on, Derek Steve. <laughs> okay, so I have to bring this up because I want to definitely get your comments on this, Dorothy. But okay. um, as far as uh, Naruto goes, right? Yes. Uh, you were both in that as well, different episodes. But um, mm-hmm. Tom, you played uh, Shikaku Nara, and Dorothy, <laughs> drum roll, um, did uh, yes. Conan. In which you were actually yes. nominated for a BTVA award. Yeah, Ooh. I know that was pretty cool. But she she's got to clarify. Oh, right. I, I worked on Naruto very briefly years ago, but my brother Jonathan. Jonathan was Shikaku. You right. were not. Who were you? You were somebody. Natori. Tom was Natori. Jonathan was Shikaku. And he still is Shikaku. And I was Conan. Ah. Thank you. Barbarian. <laughs> Conan right. the Barbarian. Right, right, right. Just so, want to qualify. Shout out to my brother, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have to ask you guys, based on that particular stuff, because Mary came in from the very beginning on that one. Mary. Yeah. Were you guys asked to audition for that? Or did Mary just call you up and say, hey, you know what, guys? I've got a couple of roles in this. Do you want to do it? I tend to think it was that. <laughs> it was probably uh, that. But yeah. I, I will say this. I can't. Somebody asked me, you know, if I remember the Digimon audition, and I actually did. Yeah, me too. I don't remember auditioning for Naruto. I remember being on it and playing Mobley and, you know, little people here and there. But I do remember getting Conan just on her recommendation. I was in okay. there one day. Yeah, and she just said, Dorothy, I, I want you to do this part. I know you can do it. It was like nothing I'd ever done before, but she said, I just know you can do it. Let's let's give it a shot. And yeah. that was fun. That was and, awesome. and can yeah. I just say one thing? I, I know you're going to maybe get to it, but Mary uh, Cowboy Bebop, in which my sister is one of the leads in that, mm-hmm. and that's, I think, is that the most popular anime or one of the most popular, if not the most? It yeah. is. Except yeah. for Digimon. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> Mary uh, called me for a part on that. I was on one episode of Cowboy Bebop, but I remember it because I, I died. Uh, spoiler. Uh, and uh, my scene was with Steve Bloom, which is kind of funny because we all started out together. But, of course, he's not there in the room. But right. that was one of those things where she asked you to come do something and you do it. And, you know, you know the deal. There yeah. are Steve yeah. Bloom's man to be named. You know. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know. No, yeah. totally. Um, and um, uh, but, but, but what else was it? Well, I was Rocco, Rocco, Rocco Bonari. Rocco Bonaro. Yeah. I had a death scene with Steve Bloom. It was good. It was a good one. He was telling me to be like Bruce Lee, be water, be like water, my friend, be Zen. And I was, and then I got a laugh. And then I said, I thought we could be friends. <laughs> now I I know you know as as anime actors, uh, well voice actors who do anime. Let's put it that way. Um, all of us, any of us, I mean any job that we get, we're obviously very grateful for. But yes. it must have been like just uh, tell me, tell me how Ice Age happened for you. Oh my God! Uh, You're never uh, gonna believe it. Uh, <laughs> somebody told me it doesn't happen that way, but I went to my voiceover agent, 
like we do. I waited in the room with a dozen other actors. They call you in. And I read for a bunch of parts. All of them were just a couple of lines. And then I got a call back, uh, back at the agent. They record you. And then they call you and say, you, uh, you booked it. And I, I played two parts on Ice Age 2 that are like one, I think one line, one or two lines. But that baby, that, that, that paid some amazing. nice money between you and me. It makes you think, you know, uh, the actors who work all the time uh, oh, wow. need to get down on their knees and, and thank God that they work all the time. Because yeah. to get a shot like that on Ice Age 2 and, it's rare. and uh, you know, I, I parked my car and I walked in and Ray Romano was walking out of the booth and I'm like, Hi, Ray. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Okay. I'm like, wow, what the hell's going on here? And wow. I had, I'm in the opening five minutes of the movie, Ice Age 2. Yeah. Uh, Jay Leno's character is uh, drowning a turtle, and, and I'm the turtle. <laughs> right. And, and, and you can hear me say, I, I, I can smell the ocean. You know, that, that, so he's drowning me. Right. And then about an hour later in the movie, I'm one of two big uh, ox. A male ox, female ox, and the woman who played my wife is, uh, she's in those ice, uh, she's in those Austin Powers movies. Um, uh, she's so brilliant. She teaches improv at the Groundlings. Oh, I can't uh, remember her name. Is it Min Mindy? Um, oh, Mindy, Mindy Sperling. Is that her? Yes. She's, yes. She, she's in the Austin Powers movies. Yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Austin Powers. You know. Well, she plays my wife. We're together playing the ox. And, you know, Jay Leno's character, again, comes up to her, a big, fat ox, and says, how would you like to lose some weight? And she goes, oh, whatever. And then I say, don't don't pay any attention to him, Vera. You're as thin as a twig. <laughs> Two parts in Ice Age 2, and uh, they paid for years. Right. A little bit here. You know, really? you know how those things are when you're the lucky. I, I, look, I look at I'm not I'm not downplaying it and I'm not trying to negate my career or negate the anime or anything like that. But like when you get in something like that, that's like the majors. Yeah, yeah. You know? Absolutely, you know? Absolutely so the majors. That was yeah. very sweet. And, and and you would think I would have known somebody to get a part like that. I, I just right. went to my agent. So it can happen, actors. That's, that's the yeah. best. Yeah. That's the best when, you know, you do it all by yourself and it's like, there you go. <laughs> you know, DSP, I'd like to toast you with my glass of water. The DSP right now. I will Hello. toast you with my bottle of water. So, Please. yes, cheers. Eric, Stephen, friends. Hello, so, la, 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 la. <laughs> um, and then before we get to your lovely wife, one last question for you. Um, what... How how did Fun Dad come about? <laughs> you know, my brother Jonathan and his wife Jenny are very industrious. They make things happen all the time. They've got a bunch of short films that you can find right now. And out of that, my brother, uh, we were collaborating on some things. We wrote a feature film together called, called Old Dogs. It's now called Hashtag Old Dogs. It's still, uh, I think, an action comedy for the AARP crowd. It's yeah. still funny. It has a Fawn Brother thing in it. And out of that Fawn brother working together, he said I should do something uh, that highlights me. And Fun Dad is a little 10-minute uh, short uh, of a true story in which I could not get my daughter, who was seven at the time, to come out of the bathroom, uh, I, I, no matter what I said or did. And all I wanted to do was watch the Dodger game. So that's, that's basically what that is. And we had hoped to do more. And I think we even very uh, – uh, we 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 uh, titled it episode seven or something, yeah. thinking like the Star Wars, you know, like right in the middle, episode eleven or something. But it's really just episode one, Fun Dad, and uh, maybe we should do more of those. Yeah. You're a very nice person to mention that. Mm -hmm. I think you, me, and Dorothy are the three people that have seen it. But yeah. thank you, Derek Stephen. <laughs> um, and uh, your your brother mentions it is on YouTube. So guys, if you want to check it out sometime, Fun Dad, yeah. just type in Fun Dad. Yeah. Um, and um, you'll be able to watch the clips. It, it, it's very, it is what I am a little bit uh, funny, crazy, over the top, and a little bit sweet. So I yeah. think it's the essence of me right there. So, um, Jeff Burns, hey, whom you guys both know. Who, who is it? Jeff Burns. Uh, oh, Burnsy. Burnsy. The, yes. best, the best hair in California. I love that kid. Um, I love you, Burnsy. <laughs> he, is, uh, he is also on uh, the channel with us. 
He wanted me to ask about fast food. Oh my God. God. Wow, it's just way too much me right now. You need wow. more Dorothy. But Dorothy has the cameo in it. I am in it. Oh, wait, I have one line. This is my line. <laughs> very good. Oh, very, <laughs> very Janice-like. Fast, fast food is a 10-minute parody of Martin Scorsese movies okay. uh, that went to film festivals, and even Scorsese himself ended up seeing it. And really? his production called my brother and said, can they have a copy of it? And... Um, my brother directed it. My brother Jonathan's a wonderful director. I played De Niro in it, you know, basically the essence of De Niro. And yeah. Jonathan steals the movie playing Joe Pesci. And it's our love letter to Scorsese movies about the year 2000. It's really good. So, uh, really nice. good. So, yeah, I love it. I love that. Too. While they're on YouTube falling asleep to fund that, they can go right to fast food. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Miss Vaughn. Here we go. Miss Derek. So, uh, for those of you guys who aren't as familiar with Dorothy, like we all are, uh, I'm going to go down some, some stuff that you guys are going to start dropping your mouth at. So here we go. Um, yes. Miraculous. Ladybug. Yes. Miss Bustier. Yes, I play Miss Bustier, the teacher in Miraculous Ladybug. I was really happy to get in on that one. Yeah, baby. Amazing. <laughs> did, you, did you have to audition for that? Uh... I think he did. You don't remember? I think I did. Yeah, no, I think I did. Okay. Better than Ezra. No, yeah, yeah, you're right. I did. I did audition for that. Um, Fire Emblem, Three Houses? Yeah, Ooh. I play Mercedes. Yes. Mercedes. 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 That, that, that <laughs> one is very popular when we've done the conventions. They go, I mean, they go crazy for that yeah, one. Yeah, they go crazy. Exactly. For that. I got a sponsor. I yeah. was absolutely flabbergasted and thrilled to get that part. Oh my God. I was like, wowzers. Okay. I am like so happy now. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> flabbergasted and thrilled. Yeah. 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 Um, right. And um, uh, not as familiar unless maybe you guys uh, that are watching have like some smaller kids, but Little Witch Academia. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had a couple of parts in that. That was really fun. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hunter, Hunter X Hunter. Okay, here, yeah, but Steve, yeah, the X is silent. Really? Hunter. 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 You, 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 I didn't you, know that. You can mouth I it. I didn't either. Hunter, Hunter, but just don't say it. Don't say it. And don't say yeah. it to the Hunter family, because, yeah. okay. oh, boy. Um, let me just say this about that. Yes, I totally auditioned for Hunter, Hunter. Um, and uh, so they sent me the, the sides. Right to audition for it to send in my MP3, and um, and they had a picture. So it's like the pictures at the top and the lines are at the bottom in the description. So first thing I do is look at that picture, and if you know the character I play, Melody and Hunter Hunter, it's this little kind of Benjamin Franklin chipmunk tooth character. Nice. And, yeah. So I looked at him like, oh, it looks like a little guy. Hey, damn, for that. Right. So so I go and I click on the link. The Japanese sounds like this, like a sweet little girl, very, very sweet and soft. And like, holy moly, Benjamin Franklin sounds like a girl. Oh, it is a girl. Okay. So, <laughs> but, you know, that's a very funny thing. Sometimes the Japanese original reference, it doesn't sound anything like what we're doing right on the, on the yeah. English. Uh, but so yeah, so I auditioned for that, and thank God I got it because I love that part. That was a Really sweet, wonderful part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, of course, something yes. very near and dear to me. Yes. Martina. Oh yes, Naru, Naru Tagala. <laughs> yes. We, me, and Derek Stephen Prince were in Love Hina together. Oh, Love Hina! You yeah. still people still uh, bring stuff for you to sign. Yeah. From Love Hina. Yeah. Yeah. Naru and uh, Itaro. <laughs> Itaro. Do you, do tradition. You, do you remember how many times I punched you in that show? Uh, more th than a hundred, at least. <laughs> Leave the guy alone. He's a nice kid. I know, but I got into the and I punch him. <laughs> you know, man of three names, it's very nice of you to call us to do this show. It's very yeah. wonderful. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you guys could do it. Um, and 
And you're telling us that Jeff Burns and his hair are also listening? That's fantastic. <laughs> Jeff Burns and his hair are both <laughs> listening. Yes, exactly. Um, so um, I'm, I'm going to uh, scroll up here. I know that people who have been uh, coming in oh. have been uh, kind of slinging some questions at me, which I have just disregarded because I was, because I was fawning over you too. <laughs> Ah, um, so <laughs> I'm going to go back up here and, um, let's see. You know, uh, uh, Steve, we might freeze at one point. Uh oh. <laughs> That's our own little zoom thing. Our little zoom. I, I've got an interesting question for you guys. Here it okay. Comes. This is from D23 Mon. Now, are you guys are you guys familiar with the Marvel franchise? Uh, uh, yeah, Dorothy is. I mean, Avengers, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you yeah. may not be able to answer it, but I'll still throw it out there just because it was asked. You'll help us. So. Yeah. <laughs> what is the question? We're in trouble already. I know. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm reading this correctly. Marvel character has three names, like Derek, Stephen, Stephen Prince. Prince. Uh, I'm not Derek's sure what the okay D23 model. Derek's I'm not sure what the Derek. dats is, but uh, if I'm reading this correctly, what Marvel team mm. would you want Digi Destined to <laughs> team up with? What, would you want them to team up with the? Oh, so maybe maybe the Digimon that you got. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading into this too much. The Digimon uh, that you guys played. Oh, by the way, Lilymon. Hello. Um, yes. Yeah. From the beginning, um, <laughs> who would you and, guys want to? <laughs> who would you want to team up with? Uh, from as far as Marvel team goes, uh, the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, or Shield? Oh my God! Don't you think that oh like Lilymon and Agamemnon would hang out with like Black Widow and? I and, uh, but the Guardians of the Galaxy, man. Um, oh my God, that's the toughest question. Tough, tough What's the little, little uh, rocket? Rocket. <laughs> when Rocket and Agumon get along. Rocket and Agumon would become best friends. Hey, look at him, Rocket. <laughs> you know what? Uh, Agumon would definitely get along with um, uh, Groot. Yeah, Lily Mon and Groot. Oh. That's buddies, man. <laughs> yeah, Groot. What's sure. going on? Get the bread, Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> hey, Groot. Uh, Say pepper breath. I am Groot. Hey Groot, say pepper breath. I am Groot. Try pepper breath. I am Groot. Okay, guys, that's enough now. <laughs> you see, Derek Stephen Prince, it writes itself. I, I I I do have to ask Tom how because both of you guys are are you know we're we're chameleons we all are, you know you have to be. Yeah. And we do what we got. You, when you guys transition from doing stage stuff to like bam, like getting right into voiceover stuff. Um, did you were you guys did you guys take any classes at all? Is this just stuff like you know? It's like when you guys were like maybe kids growing up. It's just like voices that just stuck with you, and then like you just pulled it out of your bag of tricks so that when you auditioned for Agumon, this voice came out of you. Yeah. yeah. Like how that happened? Yeah. yeah. Well, in I terms mean, of uh, I I didn't I took maybe one class, but I just. I did a, I, my first voiceover work was actually being part of a Walla group, which is something that you could never get now. As a matter yeah. of fact, I don't get wow. now, but I worked for a wonderful man years ago who since passed away and his name was Bert Sharp. And I worked with him and uh, Bob Bergen was on that yeah. and Steve Apostolina. And those are people who are still doing, God bless them, Walla work. Well, I did Walla work then. Yeah. And you got to do a lot of miscellaneous things and out of that, he once asked me to be the announcer for a for a, like a, a poor man's Zucker Brothers movie. It was trying to be like an airplane movie, but it was called uh, Oh my God, I'll never remember it. But uh, anyway, I, I they needed a sports announcer on the radio during World War II. So it was like you know uh, uh, this in today uh, the Allied the Allied forces three and the Germans two. I mean it was like a it was supposed to be like a baseball. Uh, but uh, so I, what I did realize is that don't be tentative on voiceovers. Go for it, you know. 
which takes me all the way up to the Agumon audition. You know, I think we were all there. You yeah. look at the dialogue, the sides, and then they have drawings right. uh, from the Japanese, right? right? right. And they said, pick, pick a couple of things you want to audition for. So I saw this little yellow oh. dinosaur. And immediately, I thought, such a cute little guy. Mm-hmm. You know, I had someone kick me in the privates and get my voice <laughs> as loud as it. So I was like, hey, look at this guy. This is a sweet little guy. Hey, how's it going? So I kind of went with that. Years later, I heard the Japanese, the guy who yeah, does it, different. and his voice is, uh, he's like, hey, Ty, Ty, what are you doing, Ty? Hey, Ty. It's, it's, right. So it's completely different, but obviously all good acting is has to do with the choice. So I guess I made the right choice for that one. So, yeah. But you, what about you, stage work as opposed to doing uh, voice work? Well, it was because it was um, it was not in anyone's wheelhouse then. It was so new, anime. Yeah. Nobody knew how to do it. You didn't know how to really direct it. You didn't know how to like sit. We were all learning at the same time how to how to dub. And act and fit the flaps and you know the whole schmageggy that was like completely new. Now I think if you're like us, it's pretty you, you're on automatic pilot. I mean you 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 know I mean you do what you got to do. You got your bag of tricks. You do your thing, and then every now and then you surprise yourself. Huh, Derek Steve Prince? You <laughs> leave a booth and you go. You leave a booth and you go. Hey, I was not bad there. Not bad at all. That did it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, um, random question for both of you, uh, just because people are inquiring minds and they would like to know. Um, Random people. uh, For both of you guys, um, favorite Disney movie that coincides with your crests? (laughs) Wait, what? I'm not sure what that question is. Favorite Disney movies... Or characters yeah. that coincides with your quests. I've always been partial to Herbie the Love Bug. You got to go way back for that. But this is basically a car that could do whatever it wanted to do, had its own personality, and it's going to do its own thing no matter what. So I'm more of a Love Bug, and I believe it's number 53, uh, Herbie the Love yeah, Bug. Yeah, 53. You'll have to look that one up. That's no, old no. school. That is correct. Yeah. It's 53. That's correct. <laughs> Um, okay, I love Disney movies, love almost all of them. There was a period there where I didn't love them very much, but they're back with a vengeance. Um, but when I was a child, I actually loved the movie Bambi. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, I know there's this whole thing about the mom gets killed and, you know, what? Like, it's brutal. Okay, oh, God, spoiler alert, sorry. Can I, can I interrupt you for one second <laughs> and tell a Bambi, Tom and Dorothy Fawn story? <laughs> when we were dating... <laughs> It was re-released in the early 80s. None of you were born. Anyway, she oh said to me, oh, my God, God, we have to go see Bambi. Yeah. Have you seen it? And I said, of course I have not. Yeah, um, but, okay, let's go see Bambi. So it's Dorothy and I, age maybe 20, yeah. and tons of kids Children. with their mothers. Uh-huh. We're watching the movie. Like she said, halfway in, the mother gets whacked. I mean, the mother disappears. <laughs> and every kid starts crying, and I'm like, you didn't tell me this was a freaking tragedy. <laughs> the kids are crying. Now I'm going to cry. Oh, my God. But, no, no, no. no go she, back to your no, baby story. She, she didn't get, you know, whacked. Um, you know, her and the father got a divorce. And she <laughs> had to go somewhere else. So, bit, so now Bambi's with the dad. When, when our daughter, and I can't say I'm not allowed to say anything about our daughter. But when our daughter, who's currently 17, was a little kid, we, you want to show them all your favorite movies, you know? Yeah. That's what you do as, as a parent. And we showed her Bambi, but I think Dorothy had, what do you have to do? You work with the remote on that? Or? I don't think I no, did. No, you, you, no, no, no. No, but, we but fast I, forward. But I didn't explain it. No. Oh, no. Look, but I said kind of what I just said you now. Said I said, Bambi. oh, now Bambi has to go live with his dad now. That's all I said. Yeah, yeah. Bambi's mother has gone away. <laughs> yeah. She's now living, he's, she's not living with her dad. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, past the cheeses. So, you know, we were good. Goldfish, right? Past the goldfish, right? Past the goldfish, And uh, your your brother made a, a, a funny little comment here in, in the comments when we were talking about Bambi. He just said, Bambi, comma, fawns, comma, fawns. Nice. So, Very good, buddy. Uh, you know, it kind of makes sense, <laughs> Dorothy, you growing up, liking Bambi, who was a fawn, yeah. And then Perfectly you meet died. the real fawn, 
it's Derek Vaughn. Thanks. Me, Derek you know, Vaughn. Derek Jonathan Vaughn is saying a lot of good things tonight. I'm telling you. <laughs> Hey, you know, somebody's got to ask us something, And right? Derek Jeff Burns and his hair Derek are really... <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right. Um, First of all, how are we doing? Are we doing well so far? Is it working man, out? Is it working out? It's, it's fabulous. Fabulous. Yes. Um, so, especially with what's going on right now, right? Quarantine, staying at oh home, God. doing our stuff. You know, we're trying to do our stuff. Um, have you guys even figured out like the booth thing at home? Has that has that worked for you guys this yet? This is truly amazing. I'm gonna set Dorothy up here. So okay. we have the basic stuff at home. We go in the closet with my suits, and you put the blanket over your head. You have the mic. You post the script. You do what you got to do. But right. now, like now. you say, this is a very uh, serious thing now for voiceover actors. And if you want to stay competitive. All our agents sent that email saying, what do you have? What do you set well, up? Since this has happened, what in March, Dorothy is completely the ringleader on this. Uh, and today I came out to say hello. I didn't know where she was. This is not a big apartment. It's, you know, it's two bedrooms, two bath. She was in the closet. She's reconfigured the whole front booth, got a new mic. Go ahead, tell them, no, tell them what's going on. No, but it's, uh, it's an ongoing process. Yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, not engineers, uh, yeah. man. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me just say this. Hello. I'm so <laughs> not an engineer. I am extremely technically challenged. Yeah. So I know a lot of people out there, a lot of voice actors, already had booth setups. They, they had that going for them, like, anyway. And you know, Mazel talk to them. Yeah, that's right. totally great. But now, boom, this happens. You can't go to work anymore. You have to work in your house. What do you have? And I'm like, uh, not much. Not much at all. So, um... So I had to configure a closet. I put blankets up. I, you know, I figured a way to put my computer. I got this little new whatever mic that just plugs right in, which right. I hear they don't like. I want you to have the thing and the interface. The you got to have the thing and then the thing. And, and, and you plug the thing and the thing. So so I, eventually I'll get that. But my God, the money. Um, so, <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Yeah. But here's the thing. I did a game about a week and a half ago. From my closet. Can't say the name. I can't say the name of the game. Do the game. And uh, it worked out great. And it worked out great. And knock on wood, I have a, a gig tomorrow from the closet. So it's starting to happen for me. Yeah. For, for, a lot of people yeah. have been working since day one. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm working. My booth is great. Yeah. Like, yeah, that has not that been our, not our story. Really? And she works a lot more than me. No. So they, they need the Dorothy Fawn, the <laughs> DSP. They got to have it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, so. to be fair, though. To be fair, yeah. I mean, yes, she's working more as a voice actor, but you, sir, right, you do have right. your other thing. Yeah. Well, I've, I've worked in post-production. Is that I've worked in post-production for years, and I've always been in post-production and then running around as an actor. So, you know, I mean, everything I've done, I've always had a, yeah. a day gig pushing things along. So I'm doing that at home. And I'm and still. And I gotta say, you know, thank God he has a job still that he can work at his yeah. desk in the bedroom because I used to be working a lot, a lot, a lot. But now since my booth is like in transition, yeah, and like eking out a job here and you a know, job there. This this before as an actor you have to do what you have to do, and now with this happening, it's a new reality forcing people to work at home. And then out of this, I think is gonna come something else. You know, I mean, do we need to go back to the office? Does the voiceover actor ever need to go to his voiceover? I mean, I haven't been to see, we have the same agent, Vanessa. I haven't been to see her. I can't remember. I right. do, every, we do everything at home now. I used to like that direction, but it sure does save a lot of time, yeah. money, and gas. Sure. Knocking at the auditions, surrounded by my suits in the closet. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And um, I, 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 I won't just so that it's, kept undercover but as far as the post-production stuff that you do yeah was because i've heard this from some people um were they ever in a position where they said you know what your job is so important you know because some people like if they were ever get got sick or something like that it's like no you know we really need you in the office we can't have you working from home because this is an important thing and now boom here we are where you can't go into the office unless it's like a necessary job type thing and you're working from home. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, the bot, like I was talking to my brother about this, he doesn't miss uh, the traffic. And I, we, none of us missed the traffic, but the someone at work told me the digital traffic uh-huh. is brutal. It's so I mean, slow. compared to the system I have at my post production gig here at I'm just on Dorothy's other right. laptop, right, right, plug, right. plugging into Google Chrome, doing the passwords and doing my job. You know, yeah. so it is what it is. It's a new reality, you know. But going back to 30 some odd years of working in post production, I've always had a job where they love that I'm an actor. Oh, actor boy. Oh, good luck. Good luck with that. Oh, you got a session? That's great, man. That's- so I've never, you know, that's the key to it, right? I mean, you always have to have something where they will allow you to get out, you know, uh, and, and do what you got to do, you know? Right, right. Sometimes I think, sometimes I think we lose you, because, but you're, you're <laughs> reading the, the questions, I know. you know? I, so, I am. It's so funny, you'll ask a question, I'll be like, well, Derek Stephen Prince, let me tell you, <laughs> Wait, he doesn't even care. He's not even looking. <laughs> uh, we have a we have a couple of of people who are um, chiming in. Um, somebody, uh, I guess, who's a fan of you guys, Kathy Schoof, uh, watching, listening from Colorado, loves you guys. Oh, that's my friend Kathy. I went to high school with her. Hi, oh, Kathy. Hi. She's wonderful. Nice. Her family, wonderful nice. people. Um. Uh, hmm. I don't. Well, I'll, I'll ask the question. I'm not. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. I'll just ask. So for <laughs> both of, for both of you guys, um, yes. how did you avoid being typecast earlier in your careers? Oh well, let me say something about that. Why don't and you for, say something and tell something? Oh, say something and about for, that. And as, before you do, okay. just wanted just. Cut, so I'm going to kind of make this a two-part question for okay. uh, for you in particular, Dorothy, only because somebody else was asking um, how you, do you like, uh, is it comfortable for you where you get to play, you know, younger girl characters uh, like, uh, what, 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 what was, right. what was the person name? Like, uh, like uh, Shik- Shikaku? Shikaku. No. That's not me. No, I'm not wait a minute. Uh, Come on, get on the podcast. <laughs> wait a minute, hang on. Uh, <laughs> well, she, you just did that little girl voice. Uh, what was that little girl voice you just did as the audition? You, when you oh, for to... Melody? Yeah, that, he's, yeah, he's asking, someone's asking if, is it easy for you to do those little high voices? Oh, Sakura. Uh, yeah. like, like those around Sakura's age. Okay, that, that was just, uh, okay. obviously okay. you didn't do so. Yeah, no, well, right. here's the thing. Uh, yeah. Part one is the uh, the typecasting. Yes. From the very beginning, I was typecast as the mom, usually. As the mom? The voiceover. Mom in voiceover, or as, like, the, the lady in charge who's, like, a mom type. Just because that's my natural voice. I just right. I sound like the mom. Yeah. And I can play the mom. Um, so, and I don't have a problem with that. I love playing moms, you know. But I, you know, I've played a lot of other different types of characters as well. Hold one second. Give the crowd a little bit of Ty's mom. They'd they like that. Some Digimon. Ty's mom. Hey, kids, how about some liver snacks? <laughs> I know they're loving that. And Yummy. Kathy, Kathy Kale, a shoe fryer and the beautiful family in Colorado. Uh, for As an actor in the beginning, not voiceover, just acting, you want to be typecast. You want you want them to say, give me the little Jewish Italian funny New York guy. I'll right. put him in with all the other little Jewish Italian funny New York guy. You know, you want to be typecast, but in, in voiceover, I think you can do a lot. I mean, wow. I, I've shocked. I played a couple of psycho nut jobs, like I'm sure you have as well, where you scream your lungs out and then you watch it later and you go, boy, I'm kind of scared of that character. Well, the, and you know, you, yeah. you're happy to do stuff like that. The know? great thing about it. Though, is that you can play a greater range of characters. Like when you're in theater, right. you can only play someone who looks like you. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas in like obviously mm-hmm. anime, you can play you can play a little character you like that little creature. And you can play young, young girls and you can play the mom and you can play the grandmother. I mean all as of As long them. as she didn't do that scary queen voice, because I really don't like that. She <laughs> I don't do the That's scary cute. way. What is the scary The way? evil witch. I just cued you. you. I cued you. Do it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I don't want to see that either. Uh, I was going to say uh, one more final thing on that. A lot of times when you book something, they want you to do like 
like two or three voices per the session. So uh, right. yeah, you so, have your main. So it's character. fine. It's fine. I, I don't think we're. I think we're typecast initially a little bit initially. in VO, but then I think everyone can do a little bit of everything. Yeah. You know, I mean, especially if you get kicked in the right spots, your voice can really go flying. Up. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Flavin. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. Love to you and your family. So uh, this is uh, Dorothy. This is coming from uh, one of the watchers. Uh, uh, what is it like to play Fujiko Mine in Lupin the Third, the Castle of Cagliostro? I don't. Okay, here's the thing. I did love playing that part. I remember that I played it, but I only did Fujiko one time for that okay. one. After that, uh, I think a couple. Of, I think um, I think Michelle Ruff did it for years, and I think somebody else does it now also. Okay. But, oh, uh, but, uh, but yeah, I you know I would have loved to have played her for a little bit more, of right. course. The, but yeah, that was that was great fun. Um, what's Esther on that too? Was Listen, that buddy. <laughs> hey, so, you know. <laughs> um, so thing. isn't that funny, Derek Stephen Prince, that we all know each other? Like there's a crowd of people. It's like it, I was explaining this to someone. It's like any job. It's an all who you know thing. It but is. this whole group Sometimes. of people who all know each other for like so many. I mean, when did we start Digimon? Like when? Ninety eight. Well, 96, the, the original the original season started in ninety nine. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. And we're still <laughs> doing it, and we may be doing some certain things that we can't talk about. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, so for each of you guys, as it relates to Digimon, um, I mean, obviously, you know, what, now I know that you guys were involved in, uh, both of you were in Digimon Adventure and then Digimon Adventure 2 and then Tamers, Tamers I think. and then Front, were, were you guys both in Frontier? Do you even remember that? I think there was one season we weren't in. I think oh, that, I think that may have been I, Frontier, I, I, but I know you were both in Dad, Data Squad. Um, yeah. And and then were were you guys in? Uh, oh, why am I blanking? Um, uh, Digimon Derek Prince, yeah. oh, Digimon Stephen Lord. Prince, and Digimon Prince. <laughs> totally, totally fried now. It was, it was like a, a part one and part two, but I can't even remember the name of it. Fusion. Uh, were either of you guys in Fusion? Oh, I, I, I don't know. It sounds I, familiar. I I may have been. I can't remember. I think yeah. I was in most of them. I think it was oh. in most of them because because I remember at one time I was doing not just Lilymon and Rosemon, but they also had me doing these other uh, Lalamon and Lilamon and Sunnyfolkmon right. and you right, know right, all these right. things. And then at one time I did Jamaicamon. <laughs> What's up, bro? I'm Jamaicamon. <laughs> I just, I just threw that in to see if anyone was paying attention, Derek Stephen Prince. <laughs> oh so, how was it for you guys um, after all this time had passed, right? Mm. And then Digimon Adventure Try comes out, That's and fun. you get the call, and it's like, oh my god, really? Like, after all these years, you want me to come back and do this? It didn't seem like it had been like 10 or 50, whatever it was. I mean, it, it literally seemed like maybe we did it like a month ago and you did it again, you know, I mean, and you know, the, one of the, I don't, somebody forwarded, someone sent me an email, the first Digimon try, I guess they premiered it in a movie theater. It might've even been in Grumman's, but of course they don't tell yes. the act. We're the last yeah. ones to know. I so know. Some, some fan review, uh, reviewed it and, uh, uh, sent me the email right and uh it it said you know when i heard this voice it was great when i heard this voice it was great and when i heard you know tom fawn as agumon you know i was a kid again so that really told me that what we kind of hear when we go to these conventions it's i'm sure really you hear sweet. it people tell us the same things Do, they're they're all about maybe 30 years old right yep and but they say that they came home after school, they turned on Fox Kids, mm -hmm. and they watched Digimon, and Agumon's a favorite character, or uh, Derek Stephen Princemon's a favorite character, or, you know, Dorothy's, <laughs> you know, whatever. I almost got a spit take at you. Um, but they tell you the same thing. They go, you were my favorite character. Will you sign this? 
and then they have the coloring books. Or, and you know, it's like my sister told me once about conventions. You're making you're making people you're happy. happy. You're making people, and that, and even doing this thing uh, for you for the money it's you're paying fantastic. us. I mean, you know, this is we're just you're making right. people nice. happy. De Derek, Stephen, yes, Prince, you understand? Conventions <laughs> now. I had a couple of conventions I was supposed to go to, and that's gone. We don't need conventions. We've got we've got this. Derek Zumacon. Right. right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And Jamaica Mon. Jamaica Mon. I, I, I don't know if you're going to remember this, Tom, but um, uh -huh. we have we, okay. we have a fan from uh, we of course have to have a Power Rangers fan here. Oh, oh my God. Power Rangers I did a lot. I did many Power Rangers. Power Rangers Turbo, and okay. uh, wanted to know what it was like voicing a vampire monster. You know, oh I, I uh, Power Rangers was a great gig because once again, as a lazy, I mean, as a voiceover actor, <laughs> it was great to not having to sync. You know, because they all wore those masks, so right. you're really creating a character, right? Exactly. And I don't, I don't remember the vampire. It was probably my terrible Bell Lugosi, which is like Adam Sandler in Transylvania. But what I do remember more than anything about uh, Power Rangers, and a shout out to my great buddy Dan Lerger, voiceover actor who now lives in, in Reno. He played Arnold Schwarzenegger. We were on the gig together, and I played Stallone. And we had a Stallone Schwarzenegger were the bad guys, the villains. I was like, hey, Power Rangers, I'm coming to get you. I mean, it was that type of thing. Right, right, right. Derek in the print. That was a great, great episode. But Power Rangers was fun, man. It was. It was fun. It was. That was that was actually my first uh, job doing any voiceover stuff. Oh really? Very good. Oh, Back in the late fifties, we were all there together. Oh god. Yeah. God. Bless Dust, dusting those books off. I, dusting those VHS tapes off. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Tell ya. <laughs> Ah, so let us go back. We're going to go back. And to see. <laughs> right. He's scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Derek Prince is scrolling. Derek uh, Prince is scrolling. We're going back to see the oh, other no. the comments. World. The comments from the people. Uh, the comments. We like to know the comments from the people. Oh, you know what? I've I've got a question for you guys. Well, I've got a question. Okay. Because with all of the voiceover stuff that we have done, right? Mm -hmm. And we're just grateful anytime we get a, a job. Yeah. I just want the gig, Absolutely. man. Right. Want to pay your bills and move on to the next one. That's the way. But it is. Uh -oh. we're talking major leagues now, okay? Major league stuff for both of you. If okay. there was some animated character could be from a comic book, could be from whatever. Like, if there was one voice that you guys haven't done yet that you've always wanted to, like, if you got the call, it's like, yeah, I'm there, like, yesterday, what would it be? <laughs> oh, my God. What were you thinking? You For Dorothy, <laughs> I was thinking it's got to be Clone Wars. If Dorothy had a part on Clone Wars. I think anything she'd be anything in any Star Wars. Anything Star anything. Wars. I think oh she'd be God. happy for life, you know. <laughs> right. For, uh, for me, since <laughs> Mel Blank was all of our heroes when Mel Blank was the key in, and I know they've been doing Looney Tunes over the last couple of years, just to play not one of the classic parts, but like maybe a new like, hey, what's going on? Some little New York, little cute little guy, you know, right. some character that hasn't been created yet yep. that they ran for like three hundred yeah. episodes. Oh, yeah. And then I took Derek Stephen Prince out the stake. I mean, that would be, you know, hey, what's going on? Guy with three names? Let's have a steak. Something like that. Oh, my God. Um, I, I'm going to, speaking of dusting off the VHS tapes, um, Dorothy, uh, I don't know if you're even going to remember this, but okay. uh, Rurin Kenshin? Oh, wait, Ruroni Kenshin. Okay. They still ask her about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Ruroni Kenshin, I think, was like a billion episodes and um we recorded it i don't know it seemed like it went on for like a couple of years we were recording that there was and it was fantastic went and the cast, well. yeah. it was amazing you know i mean richard cancino like lang when you leave the cast was like nice phenomenal people. it was such a great part and i loved the show and um i just wish there was more yeah um, now and somebody was asking me if 
you know, do you wish that they did the third arc from the manga? Um, as you know, and I like, yes, of course. Yeah. Um, but that didn't happen. And, you know, in a perfect world, it would happen. Now, speaking <laughs> of more, we're <laughs> kind of going back, dusting off even a little bit more here. Were you involved when it was called Samurai X? I was not. That was before mm. Rurouni Kenshin. Okay. Um, yeah. Was yeah. Nice. Samurai X. Ooh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it was it was the, it was the oddest thing, but Sorich was, was was the initial director for Samurai X mm -hmm. when it was called Samurai X, and it was yeah. with a different uh, different production company. They sent it to Japan. Japan hated it. Oh my god! Because they didn't think it should be comedic. They wanted it to be oh. dramatic. So wow. they, re they redid it. Uh, wasn't it Studiopolis that took it over? Uh, no, it was Bang Zoom. Bang Zoom, Bang Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, exactly. So Bang Zoom took it over, and then they recast everybody except for Richard. Help Buddy. Buddy. Who's that, Buddy? There's such a, uh, like, the, everyone has a little thing to uh, say yeah. about everybody. It's yeah. so funny. Look at that Ponem. Look at that thing. Derek so Steven cute. Prince. La, 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 la. <laughs> We're going to need some water. Soon. Yeah. I water. Water. Uh, water. Um, ba, 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 ba. Yes, sir. So, sure. Tom, you didn't answer the question. What happened? No, if you could well, voice any, oh, if what? you could, if you could, vo or did you? Maybe I just, maybe I was. Uh, what, what was there a specific answer you had as far as a character, a specific character you want to voice? No, I would, I would just do some New just York, the, just the, just the, 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 the Mel Blank stuff. Something funny and a Looney Tunes thing that you could just do for like two hundred episodes, yeah. you know. Now, were you? Well, I might be asking stuff. I, I don't know that I should, but. Uh, yeah. They they did have auditions for some of the some of the stuff that they were doing recently, Ooh. like about maybe six or seven or eight months ago, something like that. Yeah, I, I don't get that stuff there, at Stephen Prince. That's with the that's with the ten twenty actors who get all the work, and then there's you, me, and Dorothy. You know how it yeah. is now. But I did I did not read for that. No. Uh, <laughs> um, did you did you guys both do musicals on? For stage? No, I, I, uh, I did music. I played terrible clarinet for years. Clarinet? Um, yeah, my dad uh, had a dream that the, the whole family would be a little band because he was a drummer. Yeah. And, uh, but in reality, so my older brother is a great trombone hard. player and uh, still is. He makes his living. And his wife, Marianne McSweeney, is a phenomenal bass player. So they live the life of music and jazz in the tri-state area with their beautiful cat. God bless them. And yeah. um, my brother Jonathan played trumpet. And my sister was a very good flute player. And I was a, I was a terrible clarinet player. You have to say clarinet. You got to say it the way you played it. The clarinet. And uh, but I'm a pretty good drummer. I'm a much better drummer than I ever was. I think we got that. But music has a lot to do with I think being an actor and having timing and comedy and voiceover. I think it's all related. You know. Yeah. I mean, you know when something's good when you're reading the dialogue when you're in a session and it's just kind of like it's going like that. You know. Yeah. 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 Um. So, question for you, sir. Um. Uh, from Changeable Destiny. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, not, not Changeable Destiny. Sorry. Uh, surfing Slow Bro. Here we go. Um, Changeable Destiny has changed. <laughs> change already. Um, <clears throat> somebody actually, we have a fan from the Bang Zoom dub of Dragon Ball Super. Whoa. Ah, what? I, think, I think I'm, uh, I'm Emperor Pilaf. In a version that is only played in Asia, I'm very big on the Asia Cartoon Network. Yeah, they in English Asian Trans countries, yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and I didn't really know that until I went to a convention and someone said, "Dude, you know, you're you're not really the voice here in America. You're the voice." And I'm like, "What do I know? The check cleared. I'm good. I played the part. What do you want from me?" Sorry. I was Emperor Rice Pilaf. I was very funny. <laughs> Uh, do you ever have that? Do you ever have that, Derek Stephen Prince, where you go to a convention and they ask you about a a series or a show or a role, and you go and you really don't remember? And I always ask them, "How oh, was yeah, that?" Totally. Yeah. And they go, "You were really good." I'm like, "Yes, <laughs> yes, I was, wasn't I?" 
Thank you. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. And apparently in Australia. Australia is the other country that can see the oh, okay. Bang Zoom nice. ver- version. And, and it's also on YouTube. There you go. Oh, of course oh it is. God. Where everything runs. Oh, that is it. You gotta watch it on YouTube. Find it. Yeah, yeah, there you thing. go. You know, the three names hasn't changed him at all. He's still a nice guy. I, you know, I <laughs> um, to, to, oh, let's, just, let's, just, let's just see. Um, well, I mean, I think I know what your answer is probably going to be on this, but um, you are familiar that they are doing a reboot of Digimon Adventure. Yes, I've heard something. The TV series. Um, And obviously, you know, if if it uh, if it came down to it, uh, would you want to do Agumon again on the reboot? Sure. I'd at least have it. I'd love to have an audition. Yeah, I'd love to get an audition, get a shot at it. They, they, they got to do what they got to do, you know. You know exactly. Hey, a gig, a gig is a gig, man. Right? You know. Who knows the Digimon? You know. Course. You know where I'm coming from. I do, I do. Um, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, we are, we are. I love to watch you scroll, man. Yeah. This is what we see with you. Uh, so anyway, Tom and Dorothy, what's going on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I have to ask because it's rare that it happens, but it does happen because you know sometimes years go by and people forget, and so. You just move on and you do your casting and life goes on. But you and I both played the same character in two different seasons of Digimon. I love it. What part was Yes. Did you play Agumon? No. No, I never played Agumon. But we both played... Because someone else did, I think. We both played Demi Devimon. Oh. And we did it in Data Squad. And I did... Was it like something... In was it a Digimon low voice monster? Ah, was it like yeah. a Digivolve? Like, ah, Digivolve, do? And it was like that. What is that? Was that what you did? That's what I usually no did for idea. everything. Yeah. I mean, I, that was my first choice. And then they would go, no, 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 it's not that. <laughs> but do you remember the, the voice that you did for Demi Devimon? Well, I don't. Do you? Okay. No, I, I remember mine. Yeah. Oh, do, do what you did. Yeah, let me hear if I was anything new. Well, you know, he's kind of like this. He's, uh, you know, he, he's, uh, you know, he's from New York, and you know, it's like I love that. Bat, okay. You know, it's like I love that. Yeah. Well, we're, we're in the ballpark on that one. I'm in the ballpark there. There That's we good. go. Yeah, yeah. I once I once had a session for something, uh, where you show up and they have one part for you. This wasn't on Digimon. It was something else. Um, I think a French foreign dubbing thing. And they go, we have the one part. But then we want to see how you do on a couple of these other parts. And all of a sudden, you're 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 going, you're going, you're doing like six or seven yeah. parts, and you're sweating the way I'm sweating now on yeah. the Derek Stephen Prince show. And you, you <laughs> and you're and you're working, and you're but you're giving them the magic. Like you're not, you're in like a zone. Like you're yeah. not gonna. And then when you're done, you're like, whoo, boy, okay, you know, pay me the money. Oh wait, that's the money. Could, could it be a little? Could it be a little bit more? Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, do we still have Jeff, do we still have Jeff Burns or has he and his hair have they logged uh, off? Jeff Burns is still here. God, and, he's just a he's just a masochist for paying that guy. I love him. Yeah, hang on one second, guys. I am uh, we are having a slight technical difficulty, All so right. we're going we to. to- ask you a, a, a silly question how much longer because my i have to make my daughter something to eat. the daughter wants dinner uh yeah. derek Stevenson. yeah i i totally i totally understand hang on one second guys i'm going look to i'm go. going to be honest i'm going to be honest with you derek veronica fawn she wants dinner <laughs> the, yeah no yeah we are definitely frozen y'all unfortunately for some reason uh, the, uh, the, no. the video froze so how much did you get? How much did you get? Five minutes? So, um, yeah. Um, so, you, everybody can hear us, but they can no longer see us. We're, we have frozen faces. Um, okay. That's just great. 
So I'd love to see what that looks yeah, like. Yeah, I know it's like <laughs> <laughs> with with that said, um, I I think it probably would be a good time to go ahead and wrap things up. Um, mm -hmm. If is there anything that you guys can talk about um, that people can look out for you guys on in the near future? I'm, I don't. I'm on. I'm on like like a, a a video game. A couple of video games coming out, uh, and one of them I'm. I really like what I did on it, but I don't think I can. No, no. I don't think I can talk about it. No. I, uh, I play a couple <laughs> parts. One part was like a very old codger, like a ninety, like a like a re but realistic, like yeah. not comedy. They want and and I remember leaving the session going, wow, I, that was that was good. Where did I pull? You know, you, you leave every now and then. You go maybe once in a blue moon. You leave now and go, wow, where did I pull that one from? You know, so I, I want. It's a video game coming up. It's going to be listed soon. I think it's going to break really soon. Yeah. Okay. And other than that, I'm acting 24-7 in the Tom and Dorothy Fawn story. It's there very, you go. Uh, yeah. Well, the pandemic, pandemic version. But it's going well. <laughs> Dorothy's got stuff. Go ahead, tell, tell me. No, I mean, I don't have anything super new. Like, I can't talk about the game that I just did. Right. Um, no, I, I was the in point. the Final Fantasy VII remake. Ooh. Just doing little, you know, bits and pieces. But yep. So happy to be in it. Yeah. Um, before that, I was in Shinbuei 3 doing a bunch of little bits and pieces. Also, just so glad to be, you know, a part of these games. Just, uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> and, and, and may I say, Derek Stephen Prince, you are a beautiful young boy. <laughs> and it's very nice of you to uh, offer this <laughs> service. Us <laughs> actors get to come to, together and hear uh, Tom and Dorothy, This Is Your Life. That was very funny. And, uh, you know, give something to the fans. All you fans out there, don't give up. Uh, conventions are around the corner. Life will come back. All, yes. all things must, yes. you know, this will all pass. Life will come back. You know, Dorothy made a good point, if I can get serious for a second. She talked about how her parents, uh, who are still alive, 97 and, and 94, wow. in perfect yeah. health, God bless them. And they talk about, you know, World War II and that time and how the country had to Kind of for a four years. It changed everything. Uh, you know, life. and this is not going to go four years. Not it's just going to go what it's going to go, and life will return. So hang in there, people. Hang in. Yeah. There. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And best to you and your family, Derek Stephen Prince. You're a nice fella. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate again you guys being on here. The fans love and thank you as well. And with that said, guys, even though you can't see either of us, I will wrap things up as I always do. Please, please, please. Be good humans, keep your feet on the ground, or reach for the stars. Yeah, baby. Until yeah. next time, thank you guys again. Derek Steven yeah. Prince, la 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 la. He's Derek Steven, <laughs> Derek Steven, Derek Steven Prince. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. You're right, man. Thank you for calling us. This was so great. Take care, All man. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.